previously on Lost. It is I, a friend of the neighborhood dork in the woods. Here's a picture. Here's a picturesque spot for a picture for the gram of Instas. You wear an armor, you'll be fine. Look at that, you guys. Look at that. Look at this. Look at this. This is about four inches of snow, my dude. My tires work. Oh, there's no rust. We're not going up there. And now, the conclusion. No, nobody else has, so... Should really be videoing you turning around, but whatever. These aren't really snow boots, but they are waterproof. Yeah, so that's the road we're not taking. No ruts. It doesn't look too deep, but I'm not at blazing a trail in snow ability yet. It looks uh, like probably a bad idea. Well, it's not going to get better. We're just we're still going up. It's stupid because the road is right over there. I bet we go around this peak and we're back down. Maybe we can find a spot to cut over. That's what the look. Well, here's the snow, everybody. So I actually did okay when I was turning around in that snow. These tires aren't terrible in the snow. Well, I'm riding in the right on the snow right now, and it doesn't feel bad at all. Yeah, honestly, I've got good tires. Oh, fleshy. My feet are definitely cold now. They were fine a minute ago. I just think we've had enough calamity that we probably err on the side of. If there's a doubt, we probably just don't do it. Huh. Well, I mean, good to know there's snow in the mountain. Yeah. Uh, There'll probably be snow up here till May. So I don't think we're going to make it to our beaver pond, but we're not quite done exploring yet either. Beaver pond? Really looking forward to that. I'm sure we could find a strip club called that if you want. Also, Two Girls Creek. Oh, yeah, two girls, one creek. Yeah, the other road where we're supposed to come around is, like, right over there. I bet it's just on the other side of this ridge. As I can see it on the map. Well, if there's an up route somewhere, maybe we should check it out. Yeah, I mean, it's going to be snowy, I'm guessing. Yeah, but look at how much elevation are we losing right now. Like, we went up a few hundred feet there easy. Yeah. It's amazing what a difference it makes. Oh, it's Mark, too. It's a Forest Service road. Well, that one might, I don't know. I guess we could just take it and see how close we get to the blue. Yeah, I and, been hurt. And then just turn around if it's not getting us there. I mean, it's that or go home. Right, we've got gas, we've got time. That's the road I think we want right over there. The road has more difference. Mud. Oh man, we got some mud. This is a different road. It feels so much better on the mud right now than it did with the other tires. Oh my God. Yeah, this is way looser. Significantly. Uh, take it a little easier. Low bridge. I'll actually duck this time instead of taking a branch right across the face. <laughs> yeah, you're a tall, you're a tall boy. I can't believe that scratch on my goggles. So Ooh. glad I was wearing them. Muddy, slushy, but not terrible. This is so much better. On, I mean, this mud is still a little slippery, but I'm just, I'm sliding a little bit. I'm not, as we come up on a huge pit. No, this isn't bad. Yeah. That was almost some interesting footage. Which almost hit me? <laughs> I'm not following too close. Probably. Uh, it's my confidence is what's killing me right now because I just expect to slide, and I'm not. Well, that's the thing. You do a little bit, but then you stop sliding. It hooks up. Yeah, that's what I'm feeling. So, it looks like this case hits that road. Are you good with this? I think so. What do you think? Well, if it goes much higher, it's going to get noticeably worse. Maybe that there's a hairy section here, and then it's fine. Well, let's find out. Plus, I don't have any footage of you in front. I want to see how much you're sliding. Yeah, because, like, right there, I thought that would be bad, and it's not. Oh, this is ruddy shitty, huh? That was a rough spot right there. Yeah. I picked literally the worst line, I think. Ugh, yeah, I followed you. And I was in the wrong gear. 
Well, I can't see it. Like, the, the contrast, you can't tell it's like that until you're on top of it. Yeah, are we turning left here? Yeah. And it looks as good or better. Oh, shit, this is muddy. Yeah, that corner was rugged yeah. a bit. Well, and I picked a right with a stick in it. <laughs> I had no choice. I just went over it. Forgot how to use my clutch. I didn't think I need my trail riding skills today. Oh, this is still going up. This isn't what I wanted. Oh, shit. I almost need to put my goggles on because I'm fogging up bad. It's weird. I have not yet. I think it's getting drier. Are we in the, in the lee, maybe? Yeah. Under more better tree cover. Or it's all running down the side of the road and not down the road. Right. Well, we're not even halfway to that other road right now. What's your timeline look like? It's noon. Uh, I'd really like to be back by about three. Home by three? Yeah. yeah. So how, how long? How long have we been riding? An hour? Yeah, about. Now I'm getting fogging up. Yeah, I'm not liking that we're still going up. Reasonable turnaround spot if we need. Well, I'm not going to say no. I think we should go back. And if we're going to dick around, let's do it in a lower elevation. Okay. Fine with me. Look at you go. That was kind of fun. Yeah, we don't need to be putting our feet down. Whatever. None of this is any worse. I'm glad we've ridden all that trail shit because I at least know to keep going. But it's funny to get into situations I wasn't expecting up here. Yeah, you kind of have to, like, recalibrate your way you control things and your reflexes and stuff. Yeah, start looking at different places. <sighs> start picking lines. I wasn't really picking lines on the gravel road. Yeah. Tires are way better, though. Way better. Like, and I have to recalibrate my instincts because I had to go for the ruts before because I was going to slide into them anyway. Right. So I'm still doing that, but I don't need to. I can probably go around stuff. Definitely almost hit that rock because I was staring at it. Almost like that's a thing. Like, there should be a name for that. It was like I targeted it and then fixated. Weird. I'm glad I put the cover on that tank bag because this is probably throwing a bunch of shit up on my back. Yeah, your tires will actually hold on to stuff and then fling it around now. Yeah. Well, they held on to it before. That was the problem. They <laughs> didn't fling it out. <laughs> right. Yeah, just pack that full of mud and uh, we'll stay there for the rest of the day. Hey, racing flicks are good too, right? Whoa. I don't know if there was any good way through that little spot. There was a nice little path off to the left. I thought there's a gate right here. So this one, this one's actually open, like, on purpose? Huh. Or just, they just don't bother to close it because only idiots would ride it. Probably. Well, initial impressions of these tires, literally ten times better. Uh, yeah, you're spoiled now. I haven't, uh haven't had a, a, a oh shit moment at all. Shouldn't say that till we get out of this. <laughs> but even on this little mud, like less than an inch, my back end was sideways all the time. Like it would just slip out. Even if I wasn't accelerating, just trying to ride across it, it would just be like, nah. It was like ice. And I'm not, that's not happening. Pick a line and follow it. Right. Now grab that branch and hang on. Let your bike keep going. Ah, pussy. That'd be a sweet Moto Madness video. Yeah, my eye, I've got my visor mostly open. Yeah, me too. Because it was fogging up, and uh, my eyes were starting to feel like I was snowboarding or something without goggles like that. Cold wind straight in the... Yeah, freezing your eyeball. Yeah. I don't have to worry about editing out the license plates because you can't read them. Oh, jeez, this is less fun now. I wonder if we should have gone for it. We'll never know. Let's get that was a good decision. Come back here in, uh, in a month and take it. See what it looks like. Probably some gorgeous shit. Probably a grizzly bear up there just waiting to eat people, so maybe it was a good decision. Enraged by the sound of an FMF exhaust.
we got to find a spot to stop and eat. Yeah. We're not going to make it to the pond. Probably a landing out there. Do you want to sit on the landing and try to find a sunny spot? Hungry. I think maybe we could find a stump to sit on at least out here. That's the end right there, I think. I guess we can go to the end. Well, what do you think? Yeah, it'll work.